Hi there, welcome to my math channel's method. Let us start question number two from Pearson and Excel A level exam for mechanics one. This exam is taken in May June session year 2023. Paper reference code is WME01 slash zero. A particle P rests in equilibrium on smooth horizontal plane. A system of three forces F1 Newton, F2 Newton, and F3 Newton, where F1 equals to 3Ci plus 4Cj f2 equals to minus 14i plus 7g is applied to p given that p remains in equilibrium find f3 in terms of c i and g so we have uh, three three vectors one is f1 other is f2 and third is f3 we need to find f3 and uh, system is in equilibrium if system is in equilibrium the uh, sum of all these forces should be equals to zero uh, these vectors we can write as in column vector form that is more easier to solve 3c and 4c and this one you can write as here is always writing the coefficient of i and here coefficient of g here is minus 14 and 7 because system is in equilibrium so better you mention here in equilibrium the sum of all these forces should be equals to 0 in equilibrium F1 plus F2 plus F3 should be equals to 0 because they are vectors. So, better you mention by using arrows. Okay. These are three forces. So, plug in the values. F1 is 3C and 4C plus minus 14 and 7 plus F3. So solve these two, you know, corresponding numbers could be solved. So we can write as 3C minus 14 as a single column vector, 4C plus 7 plus F3 equals to 0. Now you can move these vectors to the right side, so it becomes negative. So F3 will be equals to minus of 3C minus 14, 4C plus 7. This minus will apply there. So you can write as this minus 14 becomes positive and 3c becomes negative. So we can write as 4c 14 minus 3c and these will be changed. We can write as minus 7 and minus 4c. Okay. Because uh, we need our answer in terms of c, i and j. So you have to uh, write in vector form. Okay. Like this, the standard form. So this is the coefficient of i, we can write as 14 minus 3c i plus minus 7 minus 4c j. So this is the answer for the first part, first part is done. Move on. Now the force F3 is removed from the system, given that c equals to 2, find the size of the angle between the direction of I and the direction of the resultant force acting on P. Before, when three forces were uh, three forces uh, were acting there, you know, the system was in equilibrium. Okay, and now F3 is removed. For sure, uh, there will be some kind of a resultant force, and uh, that resultant force will produce acceleration. Uh, in the next part, we will do that. Anyways, first of all, we need to find the angle uh, made by the resultant force. Resultant force will be equals to the sum of these two because F3 is removed. So we need to find the resultant force. First of all, you should find the resultant force. So how could you find the resultant force? R could be found by using the addition of F1 and F2. So add them. We know that value of C later on we can uh, use the value of C as well. That is 3C and 4C plus F2 is minus 14 and 7 value of c is 2 it is given in the question okay so plug in the value uh, this becomes 6 3 multiplied 2 6 4 multiplied 2 is 8 plus minus 14 and 7 here r could be found you know by adding these two corresponding numbers we get answer here 6 minus 14 is minus 8 and 8 plus 7 is 15 so this is the resultant force we want to find the direction. Direction means the angle made by R. 
with the I. Okay. Direction means you need to find the angle made by R with the I. Okay. So let me draw this vector, the resultant force here. We can draw here the coordinate axis uh, to, to draw the uh, this vector in coordinate axis. This is y axis and now again this is x axis. Okay. Again, you know uh, the upside is this is y axis and here is x axis. We know that i is taken along x axis. This is positive i, you know, and here we are taking j. So we can say negative 8. Negative 8 means towards left side. 8 units left. Let's say this is 8 and 15 units up. 15 is positive, so 15 units up. 15 is somewhere here. This is 8 units left and 15 units, and here you can draw the vector for r so this will be here so this vector is r okay this vector is r draw here you know this is a unit this is 15 units okay and we need to find the angle made by r with with i so this is the required angle from here to here okay you can find this angle. Let's say this angle is theta. We need to find theta and this angle is phi. You know, you could find the angle phi, tan phi. Tan phi is equals to opposite over adjacent. You can write as 15 over 8. Phi could be found by you taking the inverse of this angle. Tan inverse 15 over 8. Okay. So, get the answer. That will be equals to 61.8. 9 degree make sure your answer your calculator should be in degree mode okay so what is the angle theta here that is the required angle if you subtract this angle from 180 you will get this angle okay 180 minus 61.9 degrees you will get the answer as 118.1 degree but better you round your answer to three significant figures okay so three significant figures so 118 is the answer so second part is done this is the answer for the second part. Let's move on for the next part. The mass P is m kilogram. Given that magnitude of the acceleration of P is 8.5 meter per second square, find the value of m. We know that this resultant force uh, will produce the acceleration. Okay, for that you should know the magnitude of the resultant force. Okay, uh, first of all. R is given there that is equals to minus 8 and 15 for that you should get the magnitude okay magnitude of this vector is the square of i's plus square of j's you should memorize this formula now like uh, if f equals to fx i okay any vector f could be written in this form fx i and f y j square so if you want to find the magnitude we take the square of i's okay and square of j's and take square root actually we are using the pythagorean theorem okay uh, even though you can you know r is the hypotenuse and you can take the square of this and the square of this one so you get the answer here for sure by pythagorean theorem okay so we get the answer as 17 if you solve it you get the answer as 289 square root of 289 is 17 so r is equals to 17 we know that uh, by Newton's second law, R equals to Ma. Newton's second law, net force formula is Ma. Mass of uh, this one is not given. R, we just found it. That is 17. And mass we need to find. And acceleration is uh, for particle P is 8.5. It is given in the question. Let's go back. Yeah, this is the acceleration, 8.5. Okay. Plug in the values. From here, you could get the answer for m easily. Divide, divide 17 by 8.5, you get the answer as around 2 kilograms, exactly 2 kilograms. So this is the answer for the last part of this question. Hopefully, you understand this question as well. If you have any doubt, any question, please write in the comment box. Thank you.